Good morning. Hi. Hello. And benvenu. Konnichiwa. And welcome to a very short Sunday stream. We just did the 24-hour one. I wasn't going to do anything today, but I'm bored, so... Uh, I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, I've got Parasite Eve 2 and Dino Crisis outstanding, and I haven't finished either of them, and it's going to annoy me because I wanted to finish those all in October, so I figured since there's not much Dino Crisis left, I can just do that, and if it's about an hour, which I'm expecting, then I'll stop. But if it takes me, like, ten minutes, then maybe I'll move into Parasite Eve. But hey, yeah, we'll do that. So yeah, how y'all doing? Good morning. A lot of you stayed up with us in the 24-hour stream, so I'm surprised to see some of y'all here as well. Um, hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. There was a lot of stupid games, and, and they were mostly good this year. We didn't really have that many moments where we were, like, flagging because the games were, like, shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, that was good. And actually, there's a lot of stuff in there that I, that I kind of was intrigued by. I keep thinking about that game, Strange Brigade. My mic fell over. Strange, B <laughs> Strange Brigade. Uh, yeah, Viscera. I keep thinking about Strange Brigade and how, like, it got a bit dry after a while, like after three hours, but I, th I still think I enjoyed it in the same way that I enjoy Left 4 Dead. I, I might want to play that some more. That, that was good fun. Anyway, I'm uh, loading up the game. The video game. One of these days. In fact, I'm thinking that what I might do later today is test Sonic and see if I can get the damn controller to work with it, because every time I try and play that game, it, it screws up. Where is the game, though? Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Run. Run! Go! Make your escape! It's too fade to colour, that's why. I wanted to do that. With the regular fate. There we go. No! I enjoyed um, Dead by Daylight more than I thought it would. It was good fun being chased by members of the community, particularly. I like playing as a. as a. as Bill. Because he's so old. He had his Christmas jumper on his cigarette. He was just <laughs> slinking around <laughs> in the cupboards. <coughs> Excuse me. Slink around in the cupboards. I just uh, started the stream a couple minutes later. I was watching uh, Joe Biden's speech from, from, I guess, last night. And I'm thinking, you know what? It was really refreshing to have a dude giving a speech that sounded like a human being, that sounded like a proper president, instead of just an angry cesspit of hatred, shouting random words and rhetoric into a microphone. Man, that was that was good to hear. And... <sighs> That's all I'm going to say on, on it. I'm not going to be super political or anything, but fuck me. Long time coming. And I hope that he's not just a big... Uh, I hope he's, I hope he's being a man of his word. I, I mean, obviously, with any candidate, they're always going to be appealing to certain demographics. You know, a lot of it is how do we get elected? But as a dude that's making speeches about unity and about uh, equality and about science, those are the things that I can get behind. Do you see the Four Seasons shenanigans? What was that? It's like an Onion article? <laughs> I don't know, what was that? And where am I going? Who am I? And why does the B button do this? <laughs> no, it's not supposed to happen! No, it's... <clears throat> Something's happened... to my binding! <laughs> You know what, I don't hate it. No, I do hate it. I'm gonna have to fix this right quick, hold up. <laughs> What's it doing that? <laughs> Why is it bound my button to, like, sp speed? 
<laughs> Controls. Uh, uh, A, X, B, Y. Um, options. The things. What I need is the I need the core settings, don't I? Core settings. Okay, okay I'm gonna just I'm gonna Google this while you all tell me about stuff. But anyway, yeah. Um, so there's been a lot of stuff about DMCA as well with um, Twitch that I've seen popping up on some of the streamers I watch now. So that's becoming more of a thing. It's looking like people are having to nuke. I guess some of us knew about it, but people are having to nuke all of their clips because there's nowhere to mute clips. And some people are thinking they might have to nuke some VODs as well. That's cool for us because we back it up on YouTube, whatever. But the clips are another thing and I might have to start downloading and keeping those soon. <laughs> And an idea that came up it was perhaps making a clip compilation. I don't think I have enough to do one every every week or every month, but I could certainly do some if I get a certain number of clips. I could compile them every couple of months or something. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um, how do I change the binding? Under hotkeys. In the GUI. Hot keys. Where is, where is it? <laughs> you know what, we'll go with it for now, and when someone who knows anything about RetroArt can tell me, then... Um... I'll just have to double press B every time. <laughs> I go to press B. Um, uh, basically, Trump set up a speech at Four Seasons, the landscaping company, in some random garage between a crematorium and an erotic bookstore. Hey, Hellsive. No, I'm good. <laughs> Oh no. Why is A start? Oh right, something's gone wrong. And I accidentally just quit. Okay, let me restart it because all the buttons are fucked. Uh, Four Seasons Hotel had to make a statement about it. Wow, that is incredible. This is a short stream, so I don't mind spending ages on the tech. How about that? <laughs> Do you know what it might be? It might be thinking that this is the second player controller again. Because that's the thing now. Okay. Reset to default controls. Do that. Hot keys. That's good. Um, well, it's just a, it's an Xbox One uh, Spectra, so it's an Xbox One controller. It reads as an Xbox One controller, or it did. Uh, Windows has been messing with it recently. Hey, all the viewer. Um. And ever since last night, when I tried to play Sonic, everything's been fucked. <laughs> so it was fine before that. <laughs> Even in the middle of that 24-hour marathon, it was fine, up until we tried to play Sonic. And now everything's broken. I blame Windows. Um, I think we'll be okay. Let's try one more time. I reset all the controls, so... Nope, B's still doing that. Okay, 
I guess I'll just live with it. No. I can't live with it because now it's... Now A is... Wait a minute. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I've got it. I've got it. Um, it was the fix I did for... It was the fix I did for um, Gang Beasts. I need to go to Steam Big Picture mode and disable desktop controls because it thinks I'm pressing desktop buttons with my controller. Uh, desktop configuration. I need this to be... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. B is spacebar, A is return... That's what it's doing. Okay, so... How do I... Browse config disabled. Perfect. That's the one. Let me close Steam, reload the game, and then everything will be okay. Uh, there it is. Launchbox, please. I can't see anything. Oh. Now we should be good. Hang on, dot ping. <laughs> yes, uh, Steam has a thing where it can use your controller to control your desktop. Uh, and that was enabled. Which meant that when I pressed B, it was pressing spacebar, which is also a key in retro. But that's how I fixed Gang Beasts. Right, sorry about the long start. Short stream. 25 minute intro, it's fine. It only took 10 minutes to fix. Here we are. <sighs> so, does anyone remember what we were doing? I, I remember what we were doing, we are going for the A-doors. Rob, Rob got beamed by the road sign. Yep, <laughs> that was very good. That was very good victory for cat crime! And remember guys, cat crime doesn't pay. Ooh, nice work, pastry. That's a double ban. I should get a prize for that, but I don't have any, so sorry, I guess. A file of the message from Dr. Kirk to the staff. A man who never oh, eats pork buns is baby. never a whole man. I don't have the pork bun image anymore. I'm, I'm gonna fix something up for that, but I'll tell you what. Here, I, here you go. I do have the pork bun image, I lied. <laughs> Joy. Uh, something prior to the experiment. Read the file. Okay, preparing the stabilizer and the initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready. That's what I'm doing. I need the stabilizer and the initializer, then I'll read that when I have them, because there's no point in reading it now, because I won't remember it. They go in these machines. Something is stored inside this high security safe. I bet I can open it with this computer device. But first, I need to push whatever this is. Get out of my way. Hello, old easy sports guy. Yes, so we're finishing up Dino Crisis so that I can be happy in my life. I got a plug. Great. A small wiretapping device. It has something recorded on it. Play it. My only concern regarding the new generator is the stabilizer. It functions perfectly under nominal conditions, but 
it's still a problem under certain conditions. Look, with the generous budget, personnel, and facilities at your disposal, shouldn't you be able to solve that problem? Paleontological planet. complete control can oh. be established, we will literally have the power of a god at our disposal. And it will all be attainable if you cooperate with me. The power of a god. How could I refuse? We address the fact that Regina is also dummy thick. Well, that was a good song. Ba 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 ba. Got it memorized. Uh, well, I, I don't know because the thing about the thing about um, parasite Eve lady. Oh my god, has it been that long that I've forgotten what uh, Aya? The thing about Aya is that she wasn't dummy thick at first, but then she became dummy thick. But Regina's just always been this way, I guess. And that's why it was noteworthy. The planning disc is required. I don't have a planning disc. I don't even know what planning is. We should go and use the key card in the facility. <gasps> use the map. It tells you where you go. There. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I gotta go down town to the place you go down town. Um doing the thing and stuff. There's a lift, right, somewhere. It sounds like an SOS. It sounds not like an SOS to me. It sounds like the numbers that a keypad would make when you press the different buttons, and I've already forgotten what it was. Actually, I imagine it's probably the safe keypads in that room, so I'll come back to it. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> come forth! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Get out of here. Sounds like a trap. 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 Sounds like a trap. 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 Probably a trap. <laughs> she was penciled thin and somehow ba ba boom. Regina's like, you acquired the dummy thick. No, no, no. That was that was Bane, isn't it? It's like. You acquired the dummy thick, but I was born with it. Oh, maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, that's uh, my Bane impersonation. I don't know why he sounds like it sounds like that, but he does. Um, I don't want to monitor the generator. I want to. What do the play go to the right place? Personal lab. I, uh, am I mistaken in thinking there was a way back to, oh, shut up, uh, a way back to the elevator from here? I feel like there was. <laughs> I said shut up. Oh, come on! Nothing is sacred. Ow, get off. Shut up. I said, go to sleep. Music, please. <laughs> Would you calm down? Hmm. Okay. So there was nothing in here. But I know that that leads to that place now. Yeah, I think this is the wrong way. I think I need to go back to the thing, uh, the, the the big elevator room. Gina, your red's falling out. But I don't have anything to stop it with, so never mind. I guess you're just gonna have to bleed everywhere. 
exciting goober music. No. You see that? That's Protea dodging, that is. This is how we do! Oh, fun, fun thing, my, uh, their birth. <laughs> fun thing, chat, that I forgot about. Um, I have a microphone. A new one, on the way, it'll be here tomorrow. A real one, I got a good, a good mic. Yo! Grenade bullets can be fired continuously, whatever a grenade bullet is, I still don't know what that means. Yes, I bought a, an AT2020, um, and I got a nice special edition one that's blue, just because it was like the same price, so. Um, it does look like when the donors escaped in Jurassic Park, it's it's like the blue Velociraptors as well, like in, from the new Jurassic Park. We are the AT2020. This microphone, this this NW700 newer microphone, you can buy this microphone right now with a shock absorber and a microphone boom arm for £20. Now, I'm often a person that says that, that cost should not be a mark of quality. However, a £20 microphone, <laughs> it's not even that because it comes with all this stuff, a £10 microphone cannot stand up against an Audio-Technica one that is like, you know, a hundred pound microphone that is built by a company that definitely builds mics. I'm not saying newer or bad, they have actually got a 40 quid mic that's really good, um, but this this thing was not in ever intended to be a permanent solution, and so it's taken me long enough and I finally bought a decent mic. It's a similar type of mic, it's a condenser. Um, but I also happen to know that I did a lot of research and the 2020 has been quite a popular mic with other streamers for how for a generally spoken word stuff. I'm gonna save on this file. So I thought it was a good choice. A nice all-rounder. Hello! Nope. That was close. I'm looking forward to it. What it, what did annoy me is that I paid for next day delivery on Thursday and it didn't show up. So I don't know if they actually charged me for the next day delivery. Oh, I can go there now. Or... Okay, guess not. <laughs> or the next day delivery is not a thing. Um... You brought your condenser primarily because it was called the SEX1. Of course you did. And I think that's wonderful. Whatever your reasons. As long as it's a good mic and you enjoy it. That's great. Uh, three plugs! Oh, I've got three plugs. Okay. Uh, sort. Oh, this box sucks. So what you do is you get them, and then you sort it out, and then it stacks them up. And then you get that, and that, and then that. And then you sort them out, and it and it doesn't stack them up. But that's okay, because you immediately go into the mix menu. This is going to be really hairy. And you use this with this to create... a dot. And then you use this with this to create medium darts, and then you use this with the medium darts to create large darts plus. And then you immediately go back in the box again before the dinosaur hits you. 
And then <laughs> you take these out, right? This is how we do. And these out, and then you go out into the menu. And you mix this. Oh. I can't do shit with that. Excuse you. Then, in that case, I, I just put it away. I don't care. And then we... Oh, we've got heat bullets. And then we saw it. And then... Last but not least... We take this. And then we yeet us to fox. What do you mean I need to activate the generator first? Oh, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't how I chose to live my life. And I just do that. Was that an insta kill last time? I was already bleeding and damaged. So the dinosaur's final hit on me did a special kill move, like in Mortal Kombat. I'm on B3. I can use this lift to go to B2, but a guy will show up. Because this guy always shows up. No, I want to be on B3. But now I'm going to go up and down again because I don't want to get eaten by a dinosaur. Wait a minute. This lift is attached to that room we just came out of. <laughs> okay, so now I know that. Um... Rest station. Again! You shit. Right, um, well that means we are... We need to get in the corridor. That's the lift and that's that door here. <laughs> so try to work everything out. It's so hard. No. No! See, now she's in trubs. I might have to use a healing item. <laughs> to the save room. Got it. I remember now. Is this guy still asleep? What are those arm having hoes? I actually don't know. I'm not a, as smart about dinosaurs as I used to be as a child. Yeah, we've got more med packs. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But I have zero resuscitation, so I'm going to swap that for one. And then... Actually, am I going to swap that for one, or am I going to swap that for... one The one slug bullet I have left. There's no point in me having that equip. Big U darts. Perfect. As we all were. Everyone was a dinosaur expert as a kid. Jurassic Park was awesome. I used to have, um... Does anyone remember Filofax? English people might. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but... 
we had these things called file effects and it was like this little binder and you could buy like books to go in it and you'd put it all together and it had games and shit. But they did these mini file effects and it was like a wallet sized thing and I had this one that was the Jurassic Park one and it basically was like a wallet but instead of credit cards it was full of these tiny books. And each book was about a different dinosaur and it was amazing and I loved that shit So I used to carry it with me everywhere. Um, right. This room's full of shit. Um, we need to go forward and to the right. Hmm. Is that correct, or is it this way? Can't remember. Ah, yeah, I remember. There's a door through here. I'll find it. I'll find it in a bit. Did I miss? I was saying something about VR before. Because we're doing the VR thing now, I need to test VR streaming. Um, I've got a couple of little games ready to go. I've got the setup ready to go. Um, I just don't know how well it's going to handle it. Um, but certainly, certainly in the near future, we'll do a VR stream just to see how it works. Um, for for the VR stream, I'll be switching to a different microphone, but again, which is a wireless headset mic that I bought, uh, which is a little bit shitter, but it will do the job. Um, I've got a few things set up for chat as well. That's, there was a problem with VR in that if I'm playing a Steam VR game, it's no problem. I can use an overlay and see chat on my wrist. But if I'm playing stuff that is like side loaded or, or uh, on the Oculus, it's a lot harder, and I have to find a different solution, like text to speech, which isn't usually the best way. So I'm probably only going to stream realistically for the most part Steam VR stuff. But there are plenty of good things on Steam VR that I can stream. Third energy basic concept, technology to extract energy from the ions the atmosphere is the heart of third energy. You control the flow of ions by ionizing the constitution of the air, then you can extract the resultant electron movement as energy. Seems simple enough. The basic concept is simple. The electrons from which energy from movement was extracted combines with ions to once again form the original constitution. However, due to the current level of technology, it is impossible to return to 100% of the original constitution. The waste constitu constituent yields peroxide that is similar to ozone as a byproduct. However, it is not a level high enough to threaten the concept of the proposed clean energy source. Hmm. Just have Rob read the chat for you and Mel. <laughs> I could. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. I could have somebody read the chat for me if I'm doing that stuff. Because it'll be in, uh, in advance anyway, right? So that's not a bad idea. But yeah, um, for SteamVR, there's a, there's a few little games that I have. And the reason I'm using this wireless, wireless headset is because I have the Oculus Quest 2. And I have a virtual desktop on there, which means I can play all the Steam stuff wirelessly using my router as a pass-through. And it basically means that there is no latency. Uh, and it's as if I am playing it plugged into my computer. Almost the same. So, pretty cool shit. Um, as for when that's going to be, probably before the end of the year. Um, what I'm thinking right now is that I'm going to finish this game today, and then I'm going to probably try and do Parasite Eve and finish that off on Wednesday. Then I might take the weekend off. And then after that, it will be a case of going back to the old stuff. Now, we still only played one part of White Day. But I don't know if I'm in a rush to go back to that game anytime soon. We were playing Yakuza. Certainly, that's a Saturday thing. Uh, perhaps on the Sunday or one of the Sundays this month or next month, I can do the VR test stream. And I think that'll be good. Yeah, play what's fun. That's, that's something that you... you that 
I failed to keep in mind recently, even though it's always been something I told myself, and the most obvious, it was the Dino Crisis 3 and the previous one we did. Small creatures that were using the biological weapon. Ooh. Yeah, the previous Dino Crisis one we did, I wasn't feeling it at all after like the first hour, and I should have just changed game. It was bad. You never heard of this, but you assume it's Capcom. Yeah, it's Capcom. Uh, it was basically Resident Evil with dinosaurs. It's the second one's really, really good. The first one is okay. Uh, it's showing its age, and I'm losing my patience with it. But it's not a bad game. There's just a lot of things that annoy me, like it's fucking eight million key cards. I got the initializer. And the stabilizer. Great. Now that I have those, I need to go back. We need to go back to Monkey! To, to where I was. We didn't talk about the third one. I've never played it. I've never played it. Did I f No, there was nothing in here, just bucks. The game is just keycard A through Z. It is a lot of keycards and backtracking, but... I mean, Resident Evil's a lot of backtracking, but not so much keys! Shut up. I don't want to hear it! I need to activate the generator first. I could activate the generator on the corner and get a shortcut, that would be good, wouldn't it? Should we do that? Oh, there is no generator on the corner. Never mind. I'll take the grenade bullets, though. I like those. Actually, we have got small med packs now. And a plague. Shutters are sealed. Oh, another plague. Third one, Diners in Space, and also a rail shooter. I don't know, and no, never. I didn't even ever see footage of it. That's interesting to me. Shut up, dinosaur! I'm going. Maelstrom subscribed to one for twenty-five months. Oh my god! Hello, Maelstrom. Good morning. Thank you. You're too kind. We're just doing a little, little polish enough Dino Crisis stream. No, that's not the door. This is the door. Shh. Where is the chan? Maelstrom provided us with a Cursor Chan emote, by the way, so we have a new emote for when uh, Cursor Chan is on screen. But she isn't right now, but she's uh, an attention seeker and occasionally does pop up. <sighs> Carrying out room B3. Uh, back to the, the fun room, aren't I? With the oh, stupid T Rex being in my way. Who's in my way? Oh no! It was strange for getting my favorite game of the night. No, I enjoyed it. Um, what was my favorite game of the night? We had some good ones. Like Ultimate Chicken Horse was really good, and Heave Ho was a lot of fun. When I think about it, though, I, I need to think about what the longevity of something might be. Like, how much would I want to play it? As much as I enjoyed Heave Ho, I feel like I'd get bored of it, you know, after like three hours, maybe. <laughs> I'd enjoy it, but like, I think there's, there's a certain amount of time that I would enjoy it for. Um... Chicken horse, more or less the same. Like it's fun to dip into something like that every now and then. Strange Brigade, I would treat like Left 4 Dead, where I'd, where I'd play it like once every week or, or a couple of weeks, and it would be fun with people. Um, definitely, Deep Rock Galactic has a lot more going for it. That was a lot of fun. 
yeah, I think Maelstrom uh, says I want to play more Deep Rock Galactic. I'm with you. I uh, think that game was really cool and has a lot of potential. I can't go through that door though because I don't have... I do not have enough time. I have to turn the generator on. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this. Now I understand. That's probably the generator room. And Deep Rock Galactic is now, as of today, free on Game Pass. So, if you all want to look at it and you have Game Pass, you could, you could do worse than to check it out. No, that's the helipad. This guy's still typing away. Still typing away. The program's almost ready. I'm counting on you. GTFO, Dead by Daylight, Space Man. Dead, Dead by Daylight was fun enough with friends, I think. Um, GTFO, I would like to try again for sure because I think there's. It's difficult, but there's a lot to it. And uh, I really like the aesthetic of it. And it reminds me of a game called, I think it was Alien Breed. It was a free one on Steam. Which is a similar sort of concept. The Unfortunate Spaceman one, I can give or take the same as I can give or take Among Us. Like, yes, there's more, a little more to it than Among Us, but ultimately it's the same game. And uh, this is how I feel about every game in that vein. Any, any game that's based on Werewolf, I'm just like, eh, I can give or take. It's different with Werewolf though, I guess, because it's all it's all about the talking to each other and trying to figure out who's lying. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at being the monster and I'm not good at figuring out who the monster is, so I just don't enjoy it. But it's fun to walk around and uh, watch all your friends get killed, so... It does have that going for it. <laughs> I actually enjoyed it more as a spectator, I think. Why are you always here? Oh god. Yes. We should have had a separate channel f for people who had not um, survived, so we could have like talked about it. That would have been a lot of fun. <laughs> right. I'm going to look up a guide, because I do want to finish this and I don't want to do a long stream and I'm tired of running around not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. I just want it gone. <laughs> now I only want you gone. Where are we going? Where are we going? To room. Um. Is this Gale's strategy? I think this is Gale's strategy. Remove the initializer and the stabilizer and go back to the security pass room. Which is... I think I know where that is. Right, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to know like where to go back to.
Oh, you're right. It, it doesn't matter if I pick Rick or Gale, either way, it's go back to security pass room. Now I know that, I'm happy to go forward. The security pass room is this way. I picked Gale, but I get Rick and Gale mixed up still. Rescue Rangers, R R Rick and Gale. Yes, I am a fellow human. No aliens here. I don't know who was scarier between Lynchy and, and Pastry. In Dead by Daylight. <laughs> they, they were both adequate scary killers in their own right, I think. Lynchy had a much more straightforward style. She was like, I'm going to murder you. And Pastry was like, we're going to the fun zone. And th no. So, you know. Two very different styles. They both went to the same killer college, I think. But uh, did different theses. Now then. <laughs> I need to rewrite the ID card with Dirk, Dirk Kirk's registration number and fingerprints. I think I already did that because they gave us the number and I wrote it down. 31415. But I also need Dr. Cake's fingerprints. Wait, did I did I get his fingerprints? Where is it? Three one four one five. Let's go back. Three one four one five. No. I need Kirk's fingerprints. I better go get him. Pacey style was more tormenting, you think? Lynchy wanted to put you on a hook and let you die, but Pacey wanted to put you on a hook for later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like leftovers. I appreciate it. Just waiting for some of your beef dust to um to settle on the floor. There are still games I don't remember. Like it's hard for me to recall the list of games we played without uh, checking something. Grounded Gauntlet, those were the Midnight Oil ones. Um, is it this way?
I was running around in a blind panic while everyone laughed at us. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted from it too. <laughs> I think it was very successful. We all ate shit and died. The end. Yes, I'll take the med pack and I could use it. Have I got anything to mix with the med pack? No. Kirk, you're a prick. Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> yes. I did. Hmm. How do I get Kirk's fingerprints? Ah. I had to walk like a centimeter closer to him. Got it. This is why I've got the guide up, because I could have I could have tried that and then gone, well it's not here, and then spent like another hour running around. That'd be some shit. That's basically what's happened for this in Parasite Eve. It's why they've gone on for a lot longer. <laughs> I just want them done. I want them done so I can take a weekend off and then I can come back, play some Yakuza. Go away, dinosaur. No one likes you. You're so annoying. And, uh... Figure out what to do from there. We did have a, a couple of things that we started before as well. Remember I played like some random ass games, one of those was Spirit Fairer, I played that Dark Crystal one, which I don't think I'm gonna play again. Um Spirit Fairer was really fun. But I'm saving it for a Sunday when I really feel like playing it. So I'm not gonna say that that one's done. I'm gonna say we'll probably still come back to it at some point. Ooh. White Day is the same. It was cool, but... Don't know when I'll go back to it. <laughs> Maybe at Christmas, because it's a horror game. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Perfect. And they all have Christmas outfits. We could play it at Christmas and put everyone in the Christmas outfits. It'd be great. <laughs> Even though it's canonically on White Day, which is nowhere near Christmas. Um, Supervisor Edward Kirk. What kind of... Stupid ass. Uh. Hey, you can just make any ID card anything you want. Listen, White Day is snow. White. I would love a, a snowy Christmas, but snow doesn't start till January here. Usually, it's mm, it's lame. Now I have Doctor Kirk's lab fingerprints. Can I probably go back to the the room with the things? This room. I actually have no no idea where Dr. Kirk's um this stuff will be useful. So I don't have the planning disc either, that I also need. The planning disc.
probably another key and going back through it. It's not mentioned anywhere, so... Oh, you know what? I, it doesn't work that way, does it? Planning disk. Wait, do I have the planning disk? It says Rick gives you the planning disk. So, yeah, that's I'm doing the wrong strategy. Gale's strategy is different, isn't it? You don't use the planning disc. I've got the key card data. I need to go to... No, I've got the initializer and the stabilizer. The whole point of this is to get the initializer stabilizer. So, these go to third energy area B2. Yeah, I guess I can just start doing power stuff now, right? So this is for when, if you do the other route, if you go with Rick's plan, you get the planning disc and you have to do a bunch of science instead of running through corridors full of dinosaurs. Third energy area, B3, B2. No, not this room. I need to go to the security pass room. Alright. Is that in here? This to the personal lab. You think maybe this deserves a remake more? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm sure a lot of people would really love it. Wait, wh where am I? I didn't see the thing that it said when I went in here. Um, I think a lot of people would really like a remake. I think they could do something really good with it. I don't know how popular this game was compared to Resident Evil. And Resi, Resi, is a, Resi 2 was a safe bet because everyone's wanted Resi 2 for years since they started making the, um... Uh, the, the Super Re the, the GameCube remix. So yeah, 
<laughs> you know, they never did a GameCube remake of Dino Crisis, so I don't think it would have the same clout. Uh, people will always call out the changes, they will. Ultimately, they're not going to do a remake unless they stand to make a lot of money from it. Is it the power figure? Oh. I should have just used my brain for this. I was thinking of coming back here, and the directions I was trying to follow were from a different room. It's this. Yeah, every game is someone's favourite game, right? Even the shit ones. <laughs> there are even people that like Resident Evil 6. I'm willing to bet this is all the control room and not the generator. <laughs> Shaking my damn head. You can like whatever game you want, but if you do like Resident Evil 6 and you think it's like the best, and the bear in mind that game's got like a 7 out of 10 on Metacritic, <laughs> then I'm, I'm sorry that you haven't played any other video games in your life of a similar genre. You know, there's a whole new a whole world of different games out there that you could experience, right? Anyway, hi Cyber. We press the button. Insert. It's empty. This is the place to set a stabilizer. That's a doom sound effect. Thank. Cool. That seems good. Do I have to use any buttons? System is locked. Stairs. Okay. I wonder the sprites. Something. I don't know what that was. Something got really messed up there. These damn two D rails. Uh, this button. Yeah, that's like the Doom door opening noise. Here's your initializer. Now that those are set, we should be able to power up the machine. But not here. I think we need to go back to the control room first. Oh? No? Oh, 
All right. I guess I'll go back to the other one on the way back. I wonder if that would have hurt me. Regina's lift face. <laughs> Just, well, guess I'm going upstairs. She doesn't seem refle reflective of the urgency of the situation, does she? But that's okay. She's a professional. Boop, 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 boop. Tell you what, I haven't tried in VR yet. It's only the end of Mars. That'll be good fun. But I think that's just like the... I think that's just the um, the camera more than anything. It'd be great if you could move your hands like the robot. <laughs> Maelstrom's just remembered Phasmophobia. It's okay buddy, I'll be there. I'm glad the game's doing this bit for me, because I would have been like, I don't remember all the things I read about how to use this. I can't hear the robot. My favorite character. Mm. <laughs> it was the point in saving me. Oh. I really hope that was a bomb and not a tracker. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't hear you. Wait, where did he just go? He's got a tracker on him, right? Let's go talk to Gale. High action banana music. I guess we just need to get out now. It's a lot of blood. With transmitter. Uh, I don't know when we'll Gale. deliver on Phasmophobia, Gale. but Halloween is on a Sunday next year. Also, the game might be updated a lot by then as well. You can use it to find the location of Dr. Kike. Dr. Kike, where, where are you? I gotta find him with my Game Boy. This pipe fell on me and broke my ketchup bottle. All right. Overload levels are increasing. Just a little more. Looking good. It'll be even spookier. It'll have lots more levels. It'll be great. Gail, what happened to him? I did something I instead know. of sitting here typing all day. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Goes back to typing. What are you gonna do? Type him to death? You nerd. That's all you do. All that 
what's left is our escape. Let's go. Wait, what about if I do a Halloween special on Sunday, we can roll right off into it. We could. I don't know what I'll do next year for stuff like this. There's still things up in the air as to whether or not I'll even be able to do streams at the same time as everyone next year. Sorry, but I have a conscience. I'm taking you back now. No, you two get going. We're going to subscribe to the Get Off of the VR headset fund. You're insane. Don't you remember our situation? You know, if we all chip in, can't be controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide. Two pounds a month for twelve months. Thirty minutes. You two make your escape without me. Hey, do something. No, that's not right, is it? <laughs> I can't do maths anymore. If it, what, what is an Oculus? It's like three hundred quid. Hmm. Yeah, I could I'd probably stretch to that between now and <laughs> next year. I just picked Gail. I didn't read it. Kirk must be after the stabilizer. If we pitch in two pounds a month <laughs> for twelve months, we'll have twenty-four pounds, and we can buy him. He's a professional, first and foremost. It's the only way he operates. You're right. <laughs> May I make a GoFundMe? No, let's not do that. I'll make sure everything's ready to go. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not ruling it out. Life finds a way. <sighs> so I want to be going up there now, right? The lift gets me part of the way there. Let's save. Yeah, no, some of you know, some of you don't, but I had a, a thing for international mobility at work. I was supposed to be going to Osaka. Things are up in the air because of... Wait. Because of coronavirus, it's making that difficult, but it's not it's still not off the table yet. <laughs> I met with our new art manager. Um, he's obviously had the handover from the previous art manager, and we spoke about it, and he was saying, yeah, it seems like the thing that we need to get you to do, you know, so... Seven PM UK time is four AM Japan. I mean, I could do that. I don't have a problem being up at four AM. So this is the lift. Do I have to go all the way around? I guess I do. But yeah, here's hoping. Um, it would I would have to re redo my timing and stuff, but like it's still up in the air. It might not happen. And if it does, it might not happen anytime soon. And if it doesn't happen, I'm still considering other countries. Whether or not that's Europe or America or Canada, I don't know yet. But uh, something will change at some point, and how much it impacts the streams is really down to what, whether or not I have equipment, and whether or not I have time. Where the fuck am I? Where am I going? This way. <clears throat> but yeah, here's hoping. I certainly feel a lot better about picking America for for a while now, <laughs> but the other thing that was on the table for me was that some, somewhere like Norway or Finland, because I know we've got studios there. Actually, 
working with some people from Finland right now. And I went to Norway before, it was a really cool place. Make sure you leave us a few of your eggs in case we need to clone you. No, you can't. <sighs> you got your man, Gail. We have a Norway studio that I've worked with as well. Malmo. That was really cool. Come on, let's go. Regina, take this. The disc. It contains all the information on the third energy. I've never actually been there. Um, like I said, I've been to Norway. I've been to Once France. My, to my parents are going to move to France. Will be well, my dad is going to move to France and that later, but <laughs> as cool as the place is that is, I don't know if I'd want to live there. Uh, we've got studios there, but... I don't know. Paris is cool, but it's kind of a nightmare to get around. <laughs> Singapore is another option. Get it, girl? Just it's depends so what's available. The government doesn't want me. They want the third energy. They want this weapon all to themselves. And this whole mission was a front from the very beginning. <laughs> government. <laughs> oh no. This project had to be some type of weapon. I mean, just think about it. A staged accidental death. Political asylum. A secret non-weapon project at a hidden military base. And you know how this country has always been famous for developing new weapons in secret. Our government knew that there was a new weapon. And they wanted it. Our real mission was to ascertain all information on the weapon so that only our country can exploit it. Dr. Kirk's just a bonus. <laughs> I'm glad he said bonus. Dr. Kirk's just a boner. <laughs> You naively called me a devil before. But if you think about it, you know who the true devil is. I forgot how good a voice actor he was. Why didn't you tell us? I can only guess The true devil is the government, is what they're saying. Trusted by the top brass. And what about you? Is this Metal Gear? I didn't want to put either of you in danger. What you didn't know couldn't hurt you. This has all been quite enlightening, but can we <laughs> go now? Can we go? Let's go, Gail. Nah, he's dead, I think. Really? <laughs> this is the reward for a lifetime of service to the government. Sad, isn't it? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the entire sequence of events was too much. <laughs> First it was Gale leaning on the wall, and then he was like, Oh, the government's evil! And then he just dies. And then there was that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh it killed me. Alright. We're back. Gale's spaghetti. Sorry. Where's Gale? <laughs> Very good. More days. Right. Let's go. Will you save the yes? Because I think I'm probably going to have to fight a T Rex or something. Because if I was making a Dino Crisis game, that's what I would make you do at the end. Wait a minute. I almost missed you. Using my big busco brain, that's right. Will you take the multiplier? Sure. Yeah, use it. Now I have two of those. <laughs> Thank you for that clip. I'm going to watch that again. <laughs> that was the sequence of events. <gasps> Another one? 
another body. He's sweepy. How am I supposed to get past this big dino? He and away. Where did where did the other guys go? That mm -hmm. danger explosive materials. Got it. Oh, it has no red. No jam. That's right. It could be someone else's jam, though. Make a stack of large med packs, and now I've got four large med packs plus plus, which is pretty great. Now all I need to worry about is ammo. Wait, can I go and is there anything behind? T-Rex? No. <gasps> Never saw it coming. Hovercraft. He's trying to say his face is smashed in by a hovercraft. You wanted the box fire from MGS3. <laughs> Alright, there's an item box on this thing. He's back! Beginning to miss our reptilian groupie. It's a different one though, right? Nice. And there's still grenade bullets left on the floor. I wonder if I can go back in and get them later. Probably not. Oh well. Also, I did not know T-Rexes could swim really fast. What? What is happening? How is he? Is he like surfing? His legs aren't moving, he's like scooting at us, what the f- <laughs> It's like a jet boat! <laughs> Look at him go! You know, that uh, earlier when I fought that dinosaur and it didn't die and I used like loads of bullets on it? This lends credence to the oh, idea that I, I did need to talk to that fellow first. I don't think I'll ever be able to look at a croc skin bag the same way. All well, Regina, haha. Oh. <laughs> Here he is. This hovercraft has teeth like a dinosaur. <laughs> like they even painted their vehicles to look like dinosaurs. Oh, here we go. Hey, say what you want about the goofiness of this game. That was cool. Regina just got like 50 cool points.
That's a great line. I'd watch that as a movie. But then if they'd make it like the Resident Evil movie and it would be garbage. Well, that was it. <laughs> that was Dino Crisis. And now it's playing sneaky music, which is a really weird choice for the ending credits, but, but okay. They're making Dino Crisis, are they? They're calling it Monster Hunter for some reason. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, the less we know about that tax tax break, the better. But yeah, anyway, finally, after a long time, we finished Dino Crisis. It was okay. It's I, my memories, my fond memories of Dino Crisis are from Dino Crisis Two, which is something I realized in part three of this. <laughs> T Rex eating that guy. With this nice music. Um, yeah, uh, so it was alright. It was good, but it was one of those games where, it, again, it hasn't aged particularly well. There's a lot of key cards and stuff, but it's very obscure. It doesn't quite tell you where you should be going sometimes, and if you haven't played it in a week, that's really bad. But these games were intended to be played in like one or two sittings, I guess. Anyhow, that means the... other than White Day, which is like, say, for another time, um, the only game we haven't finished from the lineup, the main lineup, is Parasite Eve 2. And then, of course, there's Enemy Zero, which we're not going back to, and there's D, which, while it's cool, I, I would have to get the PC version and do that in a session. For today, though, I'm done. I said this would be a short stream, and it is. It's just to finish this off. Wednesday, we're going to play Parasite Eve 2 and try and finish that in the two-hour slot. Hopefully we can. I think there's just a boss to do, pretty much. And then I'll be not streaming on Saturday or Sunday next week. I think the VOT stream was supposed to be today, right? But we're not doing it. Is that is that correct? Does that mean the next Conan will be not next week but the week after? Um You have mail. The final report of Operation Dr. Kirk. If that is the Each case, name, then yeah, there will be no streams on the weekend. Dr. Kirk. Status recapture. We have recaptured Dr. Kirk, who is currently negotiating for the 22nd, that's the next bot stream. Command. Right on. Okay. Status. Deceased. Due to uncontrollable circumstances, Gale had to sacrifice himself in order to protect the target. Rick. Status. The pipe fell in his head. Alive. Rick is currently analyzing the data that was recovered from Ibis Island. Regina. Status. Alive. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. <gasps> There's gonna be a sequel! Deceased. Tom was attacked and killed by a giant reptile that was inhabiting the island. He will be missed. Oh well. Cooper. See you everyone. <laughs> Rip. You think we did enough this week? <laughs> 24 hour stream? Yeah, not maybe. Heard from him since then. The military R&D department is currently analyzing its contents. Mission complete. Six hours? Eh, yeah, it's okay. 31 saves, though. One of three endings. Well, I'm not playing this game again, but I'll tell you what I'll do, chat, before I go. I think it's worth us looking at those other two endings, don't you think? Good job, thank you for completing the mission, despite the numerous difficulties. However, you couldn't have done more. You could have done more. If you would like to try again, I will give you a special gift. Good luck. What special gift is that? Excellent, you got mad skills. Dino Crisis. I don't think it did that well, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I deserve that. You've obtained a new costume. Oh, good. I can have the Tomb Raider skimpy shorts or the what looks like leather dominatrix outfit that most of these games have. Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, chat. Let's look for these other endings. And see what we missed. Also. What costumes are there? There are... Oh my goodness. Hang on a minute. I've got to save this to my computer now. Just so I can... What the fuck? Google has been doing this weird thing lately with the search engine where it started bringing up results that are like these crazy file types like, like JFIF and JPEG large and all this, and I can't just drag those under OBS. It's really annoying. It just seems to have happened in the last week. Like, nearly every picture I pick is a JFIF or a weird version of JPEG. So, check it out. This is the costumes. We just unlocked a battle type and army type, and then they also did primitive type, because why not, I guess. They needed to make these shorter somehow. So that's the costumes that you can get. Which I think is always a fun part of playing these games, survival horrors, that they always have lots of silly costumes. But, um... <laughs> the, the actual endings. Dino Crisis endings. All endings. Why is it... Mm. Remake, death scenes, endings. This looks like the PC version, or is this the PS1 version? So, there's an ending where you have to... Let me just screen grab this. No MeQ, 0 out of 10. That's true. A gun was made from bones. Amazing. Like, uh, Scorn. Or Existence. No frog costume, unfortunate. Hang on, I've still got it here. Right, she does have a bones gun. But it's not that high res, is it? So, whatever. Yeah, Scorn exists. Well, it was in Alpha. I don't even know if it came out properly, but... Let me show you the... The, the Existence gun, if, you, if you're not sure what that is. It's like a flesh gun. All the pictures of it are really shit quality as well. This is the existence gun. Right? <laughs> so that's all goofy. Look, scoring is happening. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here because I need to go to this screen and turn on... Window Capture. For Chrome. This is Buffmaster, he has uploaded this video. To, um... YouTube. And we're going to use his hard work to display some of these endings, I'm gonna skip through it. So, it looks like... You fight the T-Rex. It looked like he was holding a chicken from a bag. <laughs> Alright, you run away from the T-Rex. And then those guys turn up. So I guess this is probably if you do the other pathway, like if you do Rick's path instead of Gale's path. Uh-oh. 
It's time to make that tree and get out of here. Cool wine. Not quite as good as your extinct, but sure. And then the flying surfing T Rex gets eaten by a Akira. Oh wow, that took a chunk out of the island. And teleported it to another dimension, probably. The Gale's still alive, but the doctor doesn't seem to be there. Hovercrafts are notoriously difficult to control. The final report of Operation They would have asked him past it. Regina. <laughs> stuck in the tunnel. Oh damn it. Dr. Kirk. Status unknown. Due to unforeseen elements of the area, we were unable to recapture Dr. Kirk. His survival is unknown. Okay. Gale. Status. Alive. Gale did survive, but he is seriously injured and is currently recovering at our military... I wonder what the difference is, then. Rick. I guess if you go and do Status. Rick stuff, Gale goes off and does something else at that point. Rick is currently analyzing the data that was recovered from Ibis Island. Regina. Status. Alive. Willing to, I wonder if it's to do with um, the choices you make, like determine whether that character lives or dies at, at each point. Then. Tom was attacked. I died. We know about that. Yeah, and he went missing. Okay, here's another ending. This is the one we just had. Of course. So I want to see this one more time. This is great. End of the line for you, handsome. You're extinct. Amazing. Um, <laughs> Tom always dies. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a zombie. Right. He dead. He dead. He dead. So this is like a totally different area. I guess you're escaping on this thing. This will be one of those games then where the, the third playthrough has you going to the helipad and it's totally different from escaping with the ho hovercraft. Oh, that seems like a great idea, sure. Wait, did that make a Smash Brothers noise? <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> Everyone escaped on a helicopter. A new record! That's right. You have mail. So, I guess the, the gameplay ends up slightly different, the game story probably, for that one. But I'd have to play the game three times to do that, and I ain't doing that. Not right now. Kirk was recaptured. Everyone survived. Hooray. Tom died. Uh, Cooper is missing. Three hour playthrough. Ooh. Operation instruction. That might be an early finish then, somehow.
Now I have a special mission for you. Ooh. And then it's just the credits, I guess. Special mission distinction of danger and annihilate all creatures. Okay, so that's just like go around and murder stuff. Well, there you go, everyone. That's Dino Crisis and all of its endings that I didn't bother playing. Hooray! And that's it. I'm going now. I'm going to go and sit, sit in my bed for the rest of the day, I think. Because that's what I want to do.